Hi guys, I want to go over some of my fall and winter must-have LeBride products. And we are going to go through this fairly quickly and I want to go ahead and get started. First up is my the Rejuvenating Foot Cream. This is a super thick, creamy lotion for really dry, cracked feet. Um, it smells like peppermint and so it's so soothing and calming and if you have really tired or sore feet, um, from maybe wearing boots or something like that, then this is going to help. I love to put this on at night, especially right after I have just exfoliated my feet. I like to use the rejuvenating facial peel for that. Um, but I like to exfoliate and then put this on. Um, if my feet are really bad, I'll make sure I do it twice a day. But it's so thick and so creamy. And a little bit goes a long way. So a lot of times you will get a little bit too much on there. And it is perfectly okay to put the rest of it on your hands. And really soften those up too. Um, especially, yeah, whenever my fingers or my hands are getting really dry in the middle of winter. I will go ahead and make sure I'm keeping this on them as well. It takes a tiny bit. Um, another thing I love to do is after I've exfoliated my feet, put my foot cream on. I really like to put on these, um, the aloe socks. They're so soft and so warm and it just makes, um, I fall asleep really fast because I'm so cozy and comfy. Uh, you can get these right now in the holiday collections and they have them with the body butter and the pair of aloe socks makes such a great gift for anyone um, or for yourself even. So actually the next product I want to talk about is the body butter. Um, I have, I love all the scents. Uh, right now I have the peppermint vanilla, which is wonderful by the way. And then I also have, I just opened this up today. It's the white tea blossom with cedar wood. And this one it smells so fresh and so clean and it's just a crisp fall-like scent. Um, these don't have any artificial waxes or oils that are just going to sit on top of your skin and make it seem like it's hydrated. This is actually going to penetrate down in your skin and truly hydrate your skin. And it's not going to make you feel oily or greasy or make you have blemishes. Um, Another thing to pair this with is, it goes wonderful, of course the body wash is another thing to help combat dry skin. I use this on my arms, my back, my legs, everywhere, and I love it. Um, the next thing that I don't go without is the hand and body lotion. I always have a travel size in my purse. Um, they're perfect, they, they travel well. Um, this is the fragrance free in case my son needs to use it too, but he always has one in his backpack. The girls have one in their backpacks or in their lockers and they keep those with them all the time. Um, it's not quite as hydrating as the body butter, but it is still very hydrating and it again will not leave your skin feeling greasy or grimy or heavy or cause acne. Another one of my favorite products is the Rejuvenating Facial Peel. And I love this all year round. Um, hydrating, or hydrating, sorry. Well, hydrating is super important, but also exfoliating twice a week, making sure we're turning over those dead skin cells 365 days a year, you know, making sure that process is occurring. And the older we get, the more help we need to do that so the rejuvenating facial peel, you can use it on your face, you can use it on your hands, elbows, feet, like I said earlier. Um, and it's really, after you exfoliate, it makes the skin softer, it's new skin, it's more able to take in the moisture that you give it with your moisturizer, lotion, foot cream, anything like that. Um, trying to go over as fast as I can here. The next thing is the lip exfoliator. And I love the lip exfoliator. Just like your feet or your face, you need to make sure you're exfoliating. Um, you can use the rejuvenating facial peel on your lips. Um, but since this is out, I love it. It's super easy. It's like a chapstick or a lipstick. You just apply in circular motions. 
top and bottom lip, and then work it in, and then rinse. Again, twice a week on exfoliating. And that really just preps your lips wonderfully to be able to apply the lip balm. We also have a tinted lip balm. I don't have that one yet. I'm so excited. The girls are excited. That is on my list for sure. Um, but it is peppermint as well. But this is the peppermint lip balm and it is so good and moisturizing on your lips. And it's not, again, not a greasy product. Not heavy, but it's healing and nourishing and wonderful for chapped lips. Um, another one of my favorite products that I don't make a winter or fall happen without is the household cleaner. Sorry, I thought somebody was outside. <laughs> the household cleaner. So this is so citrusy um, and just it cleans everything up so well. Um, football season starting to wrap up, so I'm going to have to make sure all of his pads and helmet and everything's clean. So this is what I use. Um, if you've never smelled a kid that plays a sport that involves gloves, um, this actually, I use this on his gloves and those stink. But not only that, we're inside more and we're, the kids are touching surfaces and everyone's touching surfaces so much more. Things just get dirty faster. And this is my go-to to keep us all healthy and our home clean um, all winter long, all fall and winter long. I think I've a pretty much covered it. Um, if you have any questions on any of these products or would like to try anything, please ask me. Have a nice day.